Yep, second day and already look this distressed. Good morning. Time to get caffeinated. Why am I making all the sound? I don't know. Hey, I haven't talked to the vlog in a while. Welcome to a Monday and the dogs are being loud again. I have class in 15 minutes again. I just finished my first class. Hi, Bobby. I'm kind of tired. So I'm gonna make the Dalgona coffee. I'm sure you know the recipe. The three ingredient right here, hot water, sugar, and instant coffee. It might look so uncomfortable because how much sugar I'm putting in there, but you're supposed to have the equal portion for everything, so. Now that we have our weird little mixture, I'm just gonna whip it up. And my handy little hand mixer, so I don't have to mix uh, with the actual whisk. So here we go. consistency might end up looking like it's a little bit more liquidy than like what it looks like on the videos and stuff but um what can you do i'm gonna use this glass these are soy milk i'm gonna spoon her in i get super jittery when i drink too much coffee so that's why i only went in with half the portion because usually people do two tablespoons of everything i only did one so feel free to do that but i do have to warn you it's harder to get stiff peaks with less ingredients but if you want less caffeine you know what to do i know it doesn't look the prettiest but i'm gonna give it a stir and here we go mm, it's a lot sweeter than when i made it before it might just be it's not really mixed in but it does a job. Also pretty delicious. It tastes like candy. I'm gonna get to class. I'll check in when I eat lunch. Woo! I just got done with my glasses. How's everyone's day? I'll show you my outfit. I love how my scrunchie kind of matches with the orange lettering on the sweatshirt. Oh, it's kind of fall and fitting. I'm just wearing this sweatshirt with the skinny jeans. I've been wearing them in a while. They still fit. I'm glad. But like, they do feel a little bit tighter. Might just because I took in the sweatshirt, but also might because I'm getting weight. So I thought it would be interesting if I try out the Chloe Teen workout challenge. I'm gonna start today. It's not just for content. I also just seriously want to follow through because I like occasionally do her workouts. Most of the time I do like a 45 minute hit workout. But um, since her program is similar in the sense that you get rest days, but you target different areas instead of just like general whole body every day, I thought it would be fun to try out her two week challenge. I'll update every day. I just want to start here. It's better than nothing. I'll show you when I will work out and I'll also show you my meals along the way. I'll try to be more mindful of the things I eat and do the workout and see what it can do to my body. Oh my gosh, I just need you guys to see this. She just like sits next to me. <laughs> Are you camera shy? I just got to do a little orange dog bed. Even though there's no fall inside in California, but so festive. I just took a nap, hence why my hair is like this. It's already 2.30 in the afternoon and I haven't ate lunch. A big reason is I know if I get up, she'll get up with me too. And she just so freaking cute like this. I'll test my theory, see if she will just stay here while I go make lunch. Probably not, probably not. She'll follow me. contemplates and there she is want to come here want to come here good girl i'm gonna go and make lunch watch her follow me eat this one <laughs> come here she does this so well you got this oh my gosh you got it good girl i'm gonna unload the dishes and i'm gonna show you what i'm gonna make hi essentially what i'm gonna make is a chinese dish 
soup, whatever you want to call it. My only feels a little bit chilly here. It's in the 60s in the morning, so I feel like it'll be appropriate to have some soupy and warm lunch. I'm gonna show you the ingredients. I'm gonna need about half a cup ish of flour. It really depends when you're not that hungry, like you can put less. And then I grab some eggs. I usually do too. We usually have larger tomatoes, but these ones are pretty small. I think three should be enough. If not, I'll add more, but I'm gonna chop off the tomatoes real quick. Boom! I did add the fourth tomato because three seemed too little for me. I'm a big tomato gal, but yeah. We're gonna saute them in the oil pan. Sure, back in this angle. I missed this angle. You're gonna add some oil to a little pot. Wait for the oil to heat up a little bit. I'm gonna show you how to deal with the flour. Dump about two tablespoons of water. We don't really measure, we just watch. I'll show you the consistency. Here we have the flour, the water in. Stir with chopstick like this. I also use fork before it works. It should look something like this. They get into chunks. Literally in Chinese, this is called gu da, which just means flour chunks. You're gonna cook the tomato on low for a little bit until they get a bit of mushy. I'm gonna do my first attempt of one hand egg cracking. I don't know how this is gonna go. I'm nervous. Oh yeah! Let's do this again. Okay, one shell. That's pretty good for two eggs. Crack it with one hand. Usually I just use my hand to pick it out. Don't worry, my hand's clean. And then just add a little bit of salt to your eggs and whisk them until they're fluffy. I'm gonna come back to our pot of tomatoes. If you don't know, tomato and egg is a very, very common combination in Chinese dish. We Eat this in a dish stir fry form. And eat this also in like a soup form. This is a common topping. I'm gonna salt this a little bit. Also gonna pour some soy sauce. And let's go to your garden to get some green onions. The tomato looks about good. I'm gonna add some water. I also just eyeball it, but it depends on how liquidy you want your soup to be. After this boils again, it's a good time to taste the soup and see if you like how salty it is. If not, you can add more salt always. So that's why I went pretty light on the salt. But yeah, I'm just gonna cover this and wait for this to boil. Extra chatty today, but how did everyone think about the last advice video? I feel kind of insecure posting about it. Almost didn't want to post it to my story and let people know I made that video because I wanted that video to go unnoticed. But then I realized people are not gonna find an under 10 view video reliable. So I did give it a little shot out and really people really loved it i realized that this platform is not just me trying to document there are actually people watching it now which is still such a shocker to me people subscribe to me when they don't know me wow and if you're a subscriber and you know me you know this is pretty much me i can get chatty i can get super quiet i really had a creator's block last week because i really thought my life is so pointless and not interesting but then there are people saying they just want to watch me eat food and talk so that's kind of like a mukbang but i don't know if that's something that i want to do in the future too cooking and talking to a camera sounds like a great activity to me and i love it the point of that ran is thank you so much for watching Watching this video like it's amazing and thank you so much okay yeah i'm just gonna get back to the soup now the tomato is boiling give it a little taste that's pretty good now the soup is boiling we're gonna add the little noodle mixture we made careful don't hurt yourself it's purely saying to myself because i'm clumsy and make sure you separate the little chunks as you go because you don't want a huge clump that doesn't get cooked after adding the noodle should slow down the boil a little bit and making the soup more thick it is normal after it's been cooked for about two minutes we're gonna do the egg pour on top it's gonna be great also i add a little bit of black pepper on top this is not very traditional i don't think my grandma ever added black pepper I do find it pair really well so i'm just gonna add it anyway this is one of those most sad satisfying moment of a recipe Ooh. it won't mind find this gross i don't know you can just wait for the egg to be cooked and i'm gonna transport it into a bowl i'm now just gonna add the green onion on top you can skip this step obviously but i feel like the green onion has a very fresh flavor and it's a great addition to the soup i know it doesn't look the most appetizing trust me i know um but this 
It's such a delicious and easy and quick meal. I really hope you give it a try and I want to make my grandma proud. And here we have our final product. I know this what this tastes like. I know it's gonna be delicious, but I guess you might want my reaction on camera. It's really hot. It's just it just really, it just, it's just so awesome. I, I'm gonna eat my lunch now, okay. And thanks for tuning in for this portion of the video. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty late. Still gonna do the workout anyways. So cue changing magic. <laughs> that was literally just me taking off my top. Here's the tea. It's good workout. I get why this program is so famous because it is good in the sense that ease you into the workout. Like the, I think the first day for the two week stretch challenge is a full body workout and an ab workout. It's beginner friendly. All the moves are easy to follow, but it's also pretty challenging. I almost can't keep up during the ab portion. She had a repeat mountain climbers. Almost fail halfway. I would say I still finish it without any addition rests. First day is great. I'm glad I got it over with though. Can't wait to shower. I'm a sweaty mess. Thanks. Thanks for catching up on Monday. I'll see you tomorrow. Happy Tuesday. I haven't been in the bathroom for a while. I'm sure no one asked. I'm gonna show how I do my hair anyways. <laughs> I slept in two braids and now they're a little bit wavy. Dry shampoo. I use the Not Your Mother's. This is really affordable. This is already like... <sighs> I think my fourth day without washing my hair. Like deep inside, we still know the hair's dirty, but just a little bit better. Shake it out. So, can we tell the difference? Very low volume. I'll get to class. See you after. Lunch time. Today is nothing fancy. I have class in about 20 minutes, which I think should be enough to make this. I found this pot stickers or like dumplings, whatever. Ingredients are not terrible. They are pretty good. They have veggies, you got your protein and stuff like that. So this is what we're gonna make. Right now I'm just heating up the oil on the skillet. This pan is not non-stick, so it's a little bit more oil than I'm used to, but I'm gonna turn the heat down to about medium. I'm also gonna whisk some eggs so I can form like a little egg sheet underneath the pot stickers. You'll see when I show you the actual pan. I think the pan is hot enough. I'm gonna add the pot stick to it. I put in about 10 pot stickers. Is that right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. I'm just gonna let them get a little golden brown. I'm gonna pour some water in so it can get steamed nicely. I feel like every cooking vlog is me whisking up the eggs. It's been about two minutes and the bottom looks something like this. It's slightly brown. Now carefully pour some water in and let it steam. It's been about five minutes since I pour the water in and look something like this. I'm gonna do my shock a lot of people, but don't come at me. I'm just trying to get some more protein in. And here I go. Okay, I'm technically a minute late to my class, but anyways, I just want to show you my pot stickers with some hot sauce, green onion, and sesame seeds on top, and the dipping sauce on the side. Cool, okay, I'm gonna eat it and have my class, but great talking to you. Hi all, I look horrifying, but I'm about to do the second day of the quarantine workout challenge. It's essentially the same as yesterday, but one additional exercise. She marked as optional, but I'm just gonna do it. And yeah, let's get to it. I plan to wash my hair after these workouts, so I didn't fix my hair the entire time. My eyeliner is smudged. I have a breakout that I accidentally broke. Yep. Second day and already look this distressed. But yeah, the whole thing took about 35 minutes. It's a good sweat, consider how busy of a day I had. I felt pretty productive after that workout and I can't wait to shower. So this is it for Tuesday and I'll talk to you tomorrow.
Hi y'all, I just got done with class. I'm not really hungry for lunch yet. It's only 10.20. So I'm just gonna sit here and do some work. Thank God it's much more relaxing than yesterday. It was crazy. I'm gonna check back in when it's lunch. See ya. Ah, lovely. There's another lawnmower going on. So I'm gonna try to talk over it. I'm really hungry, so I'm gonna make some food. Also, I have no energy because I did not have any caffeine this morning. I realized I need that steady tea energy even though I'm a wuss and can't really drink much coffee. I'm gonna make some quick noodles. They are instant but more elevated. I'll show you what the box looks like in the final product. This is what the box looks like. Here's the instruction card. And this is what it looks like. Comes with chopsticks too. Ooh. This is the final product and it has the bring sprouts and the dried soybean in there to add a little crunch. It also added three imitation crab sticks to amp up the protein a little bit. But yeah, this looks awesome. I'm gonna eat this and enjoy it. It looks like a large portion it is. I'm just trying to eat all the blueberries with the Greek yogurt. So it should keep me full until dinner. Hi, it's me. Um, I'm gonna cook dinner. I'm at the creator's block that I can't possibly look at another scientific paper. So I feel like distracting myself with another thing that's slightly productive is gonna help. So I'm gonna go to the kitchen and make some food. Found a really old avocado and made some guacamole. I don't know why I'm talking like that. But yeah, they're good. Here's this really nice flavor. Make me love to each other. Or my wife and myself. So amazing. Gotta be honest, not the most excited to work out. A little tired, mostly. It is a 45 minute workout and it is 11 p.m. Might impact my sleep quality, might not. One more video on top of yesterday. Gotta keep it up. So let's do it. Just popping in mid-workout. I finished the second video. I have two more videos to go. But ever since yesterday, my feet has been hurting. Just in case you didn't notice, I work out barefoot. And that's not great with so many jump poses. So I'm gonna put some sneakers on. We have secure the sneakers. <laughs> and let's get to the rest of the videos. Two more workouts to go, baby. Finish my third day of the two-week shred challenge, to be exact. Third day. Done. Morning. I'm just having my Greek yogurt as breakfast. Here's what it looks like. I'm sure you've seen it before and I'm gonna eat it and have class update when I do something. How am I supposed to concentrate when you look at me like that? Lunch reporting to duty. I'm just having a kiwi and a bagel with some guacamole I made yesterday. Pretty simple. Not too hungry, but gotta eat because I don't have time later to eat anything. So I'm gonna enjoy this. Having a bag of smart sweets because I deserve it. But yeah, I gotta have this pre-dinner snack. I don't know what this is. <laughs> Not trying to justify myself in any way, but I did have a pretty long day and I um, didn't get any chance to nap, so I'm really tired. It's only 10, but I'm gonna go ahead and head to bed. In terms of the workout, I'm sorry, but the challenge does state that tomorrow is gonna be a rest day. So I'm just gonna work out tomorrow, take today as my rest day, just because I'm really tired. I'm trying to listen to my body and stuff. Yeah, as I said, I'm gonna head to bed. I guess I'm being a giant pretzel for Halloween. <laughs> Okay, jokes aside, this is this is a giant you pillow that I'm gonna try out tonight and I'll update how I feel tomorrow morning. Good morning. It's actually afternoon. We had classes all morning and then I just took a nap. So now here we are. Actually had a slice of big old peanut butter for breakfast and now I'm not hungry at all. I just wanna check in about the huge you pillow. I felt really safe using that pillow, but I do have to say it is pretty big and I would much prefer a weighted blanket. I don't have any bad things to say about it, but also tailor to each person differently. I'm really thirsty after naps, so I'm gonna drink water, do some editing, probably this vlog you're seeing right now. And yeah, I know this doesn't look the prettiest, but I made protein chocolate oatmeal with some peanut butter on top. A little drizzle of maple syrup because fall. It tastes great. I'll leave my recipe down below. I don't really measure, but if you want it, it's down below. Also just having it with some kombucha. <laughs> Here we have what it looked like after day four of the workouts. Full body and the ab. On top of that, she added another core and arms. I have no arms, I cannot. <laughs> so during those tricep exercise, I die. Overall, a good sweat as always. I would highly recommend. Happy that I made it through this far. Hopefully I can keep it up. You'll see me tomorrow with a short little workout clip. And this is all from me on Friday.
Saturday Chloe checking in. In the name of science, I'm finally vlogging on a weekend. I'm gonna do the workout now. I just finished the workout. I'm sure you're here for the body check. I don't believe that a week's gonna do much. I did not measure myself. I did not weigh myself. Also, I did not count any calories. So I'm um, just gonna put the before and after clip. Both are after workouts. One's from Monday and one's from today. So as you can see, this is what I look like on Monday. And now I'll insert the clip of what I look like after this workout. So after seeing the comparison, I just want to say that this is not a magical formula to instantly get fit. I do think this is a great way to get you motivated for workout and just fitness in general. I'm going to keep this up for next week. So if you want more of content like this, please make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on week two of me trying out this challenge. Hope you join this video. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys and I'll talk to you next week. Bye.